So as we walk today, let us pray. Let us pray, let us pray. We can do everything we can do to act. But ultimately, we need to pray. We need God to move. We need God to move in the hearts of the politicians, of our nation's leaders, in the hearts of the negotiators. As we praise and pray and prophesy, may we, by doing that, spread the aroma of the knowledge of God everywhere that we go. Our gracious God and Heavenly Father, we thank you that this is your world that we live in. We thank you that you have allowed us to live in it, to enjoy it, to eat from it. We pray, Lord, that those who are normally excluded would be heard, and that those who are impoverished would know justice. We are no longer going to keep silent. We are going to insist that the right thing is done. And until it's done, there will be no silence. I'm here today because this is COP26. I'm 25 years old and that means world leaders have been coming together to talk about climate justice since before I was born. Uh, the time for climate justice has been gone. We need action now. I'm marching today because I want to see justice for the millions who did cause the climate crisis but are suffering We come with hope because you are a God who is sovereign, who is active, who is alive and who wants to heal your world.